Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a nail polish collection and it has been more than a year at least since I did one and there has been some changes and some really exciting ones. I know I have gotten rid of at least five to six polishes since I made that inventory, maybe more. I'm doing really good guys, <laughs> so I'm really really excited about it. I will put on the screen if I have some numbers for you guys so you can see how many I have used up since. Last time I did my nail polish collection I had some nail wheels to show you guys and so you could see the colors laid out. I don't know where they are, maybe they are in some boxes still in the attic or something i'm not sure <laughs> so they are gone for now but i will insert them if i can find them before this goes up uh, which will be tomorrow but i don't know if that is going to happen they all fitted into this box as well last time but now i have all my uh, nail files and some cotton rounds and stuff like that in here as well so that means there are more room in this box now than last, uh, last year. Let's do some categories. I have some oils and I have some base coats and top coats and some glitters. And then just regular nail polish. So let me show you guys what is in this box. I have three base coats in my collection but I really only use one of them. And that is a new one to my collection actually. It is the... It Essence Extreme Last Base Coat. We have some uh, background noise today. It is raining so much, but I, I need to film, so sorry. 80% <laughs> confirm longer wear. I don't know. It is this one. I really, really like it. Actually, it is the one that I'm using, obviously, but I really, really like this. And I do think my nail polish wear longer on my nails the next one i have is my opi natural nail base coat i forgot to include this in my nail culture free post on instagram oh well it is a base coat and i bought this specifically for when i have glitter nails because they are a pain to remove with regular makeup remover and i don't want to buy acetone so I bought this um, glitter off and it is like a peel off base coat. So it's really nice. Let's shake this up. Looks disgusting. This is the Essence Color Booster Base Coat. Intensify your color base coat thingy. It is a white base coat. I know I bought this for a reason but right now I don't know the reason because uh, my nail polish are quite opaque. At least the ones I have left. So I don't know why this is but because i don't really have any sheer nail polish left at least that i don't like the color of you know almost no battery perfect <laughs> i have two top coats in my collection and they are both from w7 the one that i am using right now is the 3d gel shine top coat i really really like this it gives a nice finish my nails are rubbish i'm sorry but they they get this really really nice finish and shine on them so i really really like this and um, it says nail treatment but it is a duck coat so maybe it's also good for my nails i don't know my nails are rubbish overall so i don't know then i have the instant dry top coat and nail treatment again what is with the nail treatment this is kind of a purple top coat I don't think the purple transfers onto the nail polish, but yeah, I have it and I will use it. It will take forever for me to go through those. This is actually, um, it's not really a nail polish, but I use it for when I do nail polish. Um, and this is the Born Pretty Liquid Peel Off Tape. So it is kind of, I don't want to say latex, but it's kind of this you put around your nail and then you can peel it off and um, I'm not the best at that but it works okay so I have it um, but I don't really count it in anything because I don't know what category to put this in in my kind of inventory I have two cuticle oils kind of things the one that I'm 
really close to using up and that is why I have another one. It is from W7. It is the Complete Care 7 in 1 nail treatment. So it's just a cuticle oil. But I'm almost done with that one because it's really hard to get out. So I bought a new one and this is from Gosh. It is the nail and cuticle cuticle oil hydrate and nourishes with vitamin E and argan oil. Oh my god. <laughs> so this should be really really good for your nose. So let's see if it is when I come to it. But it won't be long. For sure. It won't be long. I don't have that many glitters. I have two. And one of them is from Gosh. I got this in an advent calendar or something. It is like a loose glitter. Loose nail glitter in this gold color. It's really pretty but I have a hard time knowing how to use it. I had it in some top coats and it was okay, but it fell to the bottom and I had to shake it every time. It was kind of a hassle and I don't like to just put it onto my nails. So, I, I maybe I'm just going to use it in my top coats or something. I have not bought nail polish in like two years, so I was lacking some fun doing my nails. So I bought this Essence Prismatic top coat. Oh, well. It says top coat, but I use it just as a glitter. It is this one right here. I think it's really, really stunning. It is the one I have on my accent nail right here. So because it is a glitter and top coat, I don't put, you know, this one on top. Does that make sense? I don't do that with my glitters normally, so it doesn't really matter. I need to redo my nails because they're trash, basically. So I got this glitter and I think it's stunning. What should we do first? Should we go by brand? Because the uh, color is kind of hard. I have four minis from W7 and one of them I have already had in a project pan and it is this very fuchsia hot pink color. I don't know the names of these but I will put them on the screen if I know. I have written it down somewhere in a notebook or something and I also have this more yeah, it is a hot pink, but it has a purple shift. I have no idea if you can see it. So here is the color difference. This is more um, warm and this is more cool toned. And I have two reds in the minis. One of them is glittery. This one right here. Really stunning. And then I have, I want to say matte red color. So those are my mini W7. And I have three big ones. Let me start with the dark one and this is called Night Glow. It's a dark... Yeah, it's a black with silver shimmer in it. This is a matte finish and it is called Matte Sludge. Weird name, but here it is. It's like a dark taupe color. This is also a matte finish and it is called Matte Beige. Wow. So yeah, it is a taupey matte, taupe beige shade, I would say. So it's a pretty new color. I have one from Neil Shore and it is called, oh, it's a number 697. It's like a curly peach color. It's really, really stunning. I got this in an advent calendar as well. I have one from OBI and it is a dark gray black gray kind of it is the Susie skis in the Pyrenees this one right here I, I really like my dark nail polishes if you can't tell then I have a nails ink nail kill in Richmond Park Gardens I tried to pan this uh, yeah last year in my project polish and the year before in my subscription box blitz project pan I have to Essence Cosmic Light nail polishes that I just got in the other day and they are called To the Moon and Back. That is the glittery pink nail polish. I think they're really really stunning and this um, purple one is called Hollow Me Crazy. So these are that was my phone. These are really really stunning and I'm so excited to use them. I haven't used them yet but I really wanted to spice up my collection. I don't buy nail polish normally, but 
yeah i was craving some new nail polishes and i was really feeling the glitter and some colors that i don't have in my collection that's me justifying why i bought some nail polish but it's really only four things that i have bought re recently and yeah i i don't really have anything like this so i think it's fine <laughs> this is a maybelline color show 60 seconds nail polish in blackout so it's just a matte black nail polish oh i don't know if it's matte it's just dark then we have the p2 color victim nail polish in heat some cocoa it's this beautiful bronze brown cocoa shade it's really really stunning i have this in my project polish right now another one i have in my project polish is my kiko makeup kiko makeup milano nail like her in 221 doesn't have a name maybe it has on the website i don't know but this is in my project polish well these are in my unofficial project polish i just use them if i want to the last three bottles of nail polish i have are from essie the first one is the one with these magnets and this is called snake it up and it is a dark blue gray yeah blue gray color you see yeah you can see the blue shift in it and it's called snake it up because this magnet is this print you can see the snake in there right <laughs> i also have another magnet if i want to use it on something um, I got this from my one of my friends and it has these stripes on it right there and then I have a black and a red nail polish from Essie in Forever Yummy and Licorice I have them in my pretty polish as well so those are all my nail polishes I don't want to go through my equipment or what you want to call it um, they're just in there nail files and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this nail polish collection i'm going to go now because my battery is about to die and um, so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video and until my next one please take care bye